Hello and welcome to a brand new property review with indaproperty.com. The property we are looking at today is called Ganga Darshan. It is 10 minutes walking from Panvel railway station, 5 minutes from the Mumbai Pune Express Highway and 10 minutes from the Mumbai Goa Highway which is NH17. The Panvel State Transport Bus Depot is also a 15 minute walk from here. There are several schools, colleges, shopping malls, hospitals and banks located within a 3 km radius of this particular property. The property is also very close to the proposed Virar Ali Bagh corridor. Ganga Darshan consists of three buildings of three floors each. Buildings A and C have two lifts each and building B has one lift servicing it. All of these buildings have the ground floor reserved for parking. The amenities offered at Ganga Darshan include a garden, a lot of open space, full parking for all members, a gymnasium, a kids play area and a senior citizens area. There are also provisions for 24-7 water supply. Security is also 24-7. Let us now take a look at a model 2BHK apartment in Ganga Darshan. We are now in a sample 2BHK apartment in Ganga Darshan. This apartment has a carpet area of 610 square feet and a saleable area of 935 square feet. That makes it a 2BHK on the slightly smaller side. The living room has dimensions of 14 feet by 10 feet which is not much if you fit in a large sofa set and a showcase in here. The floors in the living room and in all of the apartment have been done up in 2 cross 2 vitrified tiles and the walls have been covered in an acrylic based paint by Asian Paints. The main door looks sturdy and the fittings on the main door are also of good quality. There's a large French window directly opposite the entrance which opens up into a roughly 50 square feet balcony. The balcony overlooks the road in front and also the Mumbai Pune Expressway. The electrical fittings seem to be of good quality but there's one little problem. There are just two electrical plug points and switches in the living room and they're both located right next to the door. That means no electrical points in either corner apart from the one right next to the door. That seems to be a little bit of a hiccup but nothing you can't solve with a couple of spike guards. Let us now move inward to the kitchen. The kitchen has dimensions of 7 feet by 8 feet 3 inches which makes it quite compact. But you can easily fit in a refrigerator, a microwave, a chimney and a water purifier in here. There's a granite countertop that runs on one side and ends in a stainless steel sink. There are no fittings on the sink yet but we've been told that they'll have Jaguar fittings installed very soon. The wall in front of the countertop, which is the cooking area, has been done up in designer dado tiles up to the ceiling level. There is no loft here to store, but you can probably install a makeshift loft. There's also a large French window in the kitchen, which opens up into a small service area or a flower bed area. There are also provisions to install kitchen baskets, although they have not been provided by the builders. Right across the kitchen is the common bathroom for the flat. The common bathroom has anti-skid tiles on the floor and designer dado tiles on the walls. There's an Indian style toilet and all of the fittings in the bathroom are going to be of Jaguar. Let us now move to the bedrooms. The secondary bedroom or the kids room with dimensions of 9 feet by 10 feet 3 inches is once again quite compact. The best you can do with this room is install a small bed and a small wardrobe and maybe a small desk and there'll be just enough space left to move around. The good thing about this room is that there are again French windows and a small balcony which overlooks the Mumbai Pune Expressway. The door is of good quality and the fittings on the door are also of good quality. This holds true for all of the doors in this flat, except the toilet doors which are made of PVC. Another thing that disappoints me about this room, like the other rooms in this flat, is the lack of conveniently placed electrical points. Even in this room, the only electrical points are here. Let us now move to the master bedroom. The master bedroom has dimensions of 9 feet by 11 feet, which does not make it very large for a master bedroom. 
you can fit a king size bed in here and a wardrobe in here but then again you'll have no space left to move around my advice would be to go for space saving solutions and use as much space as possible with as little furniture as possible there's an attached toilet and bath in this room which comes with skid proof tiles on the floor and designer dado tiles on the wall very similar to the common bathroom in this flat the only difference between the common bathroom and the attached bathroom is probably the western style toilet the fittings in the bathroom are going to be of jaguar the master bedroom is somewhat better in terms of electrical points there's a specific point for the air conditioner and there are separate points for cable tv and a telephone line there's also a small balcony in this room which can be accessed through a large french window which allows for plenty of light ventilation and noise i think the noise is going to be a major concern for whoever is staying here considering that the mumbai pune highway is hardly 100 feet from here vehicles ply on that road 24 hours 7 days a week so you may want to consider that if you're considering buying property here that brings us to the end of this video property review we hope this review is helpful to you whether looking for any kind of property land commercial residential or farmhouse indiaproperty.com has it all